Alright guys, check it out. We're still here at the facility. It's going to be part two of the storage unit. And I think we found some pretty solid stuff so far. We went ahead and pulled out the ladder here, which is over here, the this Warner one. Very nice. It's like a three-tier one. I, I'm assuming maybe a hundred bucks for that. Um, we did end up pulling out uh, all the clothes right there. There was nothing in them. Um, but if you come back here, we still have all of this to go through, you guys. All of it. I mean, literally, I mean, nice little rack right here that I'm pretty sure we'll find the pieces for. We even pulled out a uh, diaper changing station for a baby. Um, but if you look back in here, man, there is a ton of stuff. I mean, I don't even know what's in this big thing. That might be a canopy. We've got tons of totes here. And I'm gonna fly back here, which I haven't looked yet. There's definitely some older equipment, like the ones we found at the beginning. So, yeah. There's actually, there's a huge cabinet back here too, Charlie. Like a massive cabinet, like bigger than the craftsman toolbox. I don't know what that is. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's get to work. We got the wife set up so you guys can see her. She has uh, this box right here. She has that little small box. These two boxes there and then that box right there. And then of course we found another one of these things. These Everest VIT things. And that feels kind of heavy so hopefully that's in there. Alright, first box. Start of part two. Please be something good. <laughs> Steering Wait, wheel this? repair kit. Steering wheel repair kit, okay. Looks like it's been used. Alright, been used, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, never know unless you look. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying if we if we count that first video where we found that stuff, you guys, I don't know. Hopefully in the comment section and all that I will y'all can tell me what it is, if it's worth it. Yeah, then there was just a, a hodgepodge of stuff here. Go ahead, baby. We got another one of these. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely put that off to the side for sure. Some sand Sandus, what are they? Four gigabyte compact flash. Yeah, two of them. Yep. Two of them, okay. Uh, three. Three, look at that. Look at that. Three new ones. Three new ones, okay. Blackberry. Blackberry, okay. Throwing it back a little bit. I know, I remember wanting one of these so bad. <laughs> not and in it's there. not there. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so sad. All good, all good. Uh -huh. I'm sure we'll we'll find it. we'll find it. Okay, board. Looks like a lot of trash, huh? Office. Oh, there goes it in there. Oh, look at that! That's so cool. Right? That is so freaking cool. Is that in there? Uh, I mean, it is. But not in the yeah. packaging it was in. Yeah, I mean, we'll still put it off to the side. You know, that'd be something that we have to go through. Here, you want a hair dryer? I think that would probably take me five hours just. To Draw my hair. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, we got a you have router. luscious hair. <laughs> Linksy's router. Uh, <gasps> What's that red case? No, the red box. Uh, friends! It's friends? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, and look at that. All of it's in there. It's just the case is kind of. Yeah, the case kind of beat which is fine, you know. Spinity little uh, portal thing. All the wires are just mixed up together. Remote. Um, I got a, another LG phone. Oh, that's like about it. Oh, wait, it's a black case. Oh, a darts. little dart set? Yeah, put that out to the side. What does it Dang. say? It says Great White. 23 grams. 90% tungsten. 2008 Ooh. made in USA. That's actually very nice. Yeah, we'll definitely put Ooh. that out to the side. I believe we actually sold darts before, remember? Yeah. But I mean, you know, I think they sold for like 25 bucks. Just a little windshield mount. Me. Yeah, you'd be surprised what we have found in storage units, you guys. We have found a ton of, of little knickknacks. You guys would be very surprised. Ow. But me and, me and the wife, we told ourselves today that when we do this unit, we're going to try to show you guys as much as possible. Um, you know, actually digging through the boxes. Power mat? I don't know what power mat is. I don't know. Is. Okay, rest of it looks like it might be just trash for the most part, you know. Yeah. Okay, Basically. all right, cool. On to the next box. Yeah. All right, next box right here. Oh, wait, wait, which one do you want to do? You want to do the big one over there? Let's do the big one. Okay, so you want to do the big one. So this is the another one of those Everest things. We actually loaded up the truck, by the way. 
Um, it's one of those ever since. Holy crap, a third one. But this one actually has this, mm -hmm. which you can technically, we can test them now. Nice. We should be able to test them now because we have these things. I think it's missing a battery. Is that the battery? That's the battery. No, no. Is that just a storage? It should be able to. Like media storage? Yeah, that's what it is. It's media storage. It looks kind of. <laughs> Does it look like it's missing one? Yeah, but there's something right there. I don't know. We'll, like I said, we'll, we'll figure it out, but. You know, like I said, anything that looks dirty can always be cleaned up. You can ask Charlie. My my cleaning skills are impeccable, Immaculate. impeccable when it comes to cleaning stuff up. But since this one actually has whatever that is, uh, I guess the thing that it plugs up to to make it work, that one. I mean, because I think those are the ones that were selling for like fifteen hundred dollars. But again, no sold comps really. So again, it's going to take a particular buyer. But that will go home with us today, just in case it's uh, you know worth something. All right, got another box. Mm. Mm, what that is? Mm -hmm. Seagate. Seagate. Seagate's a great brand. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Seagate. Oh, okay, maybe this is like a portable. I don't know. It says Free Agent Theater. I don't know. We'll put that off to the side, though. Yeah, that's Done. beat up. And the Blu-ray. Asus plug-in. Ain't that a holder for like a GoPro? Yeah, like an older one. What is uh, that thing right there? Wait, in here? Move the Dymo? Yeah. No, I just saw it somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. The Zippo? Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's coins too. Or a coin. So yeah, it's always good to, to go, you know, like I said, whenever we, oh, it's a small AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> pee, 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 pee. What is that? Is, that, is this a replica? Is I it guess. plastic? Oh yeah, it says something on the back here. What does Let's that say? See. Gibson Enterprises keep away from chillings. Let me see. I don't know you guys. Oh wait, is this a lighter? -uh. It is it is a lighter. No. -uh. It's a lighter. How do you light it then? The trigger? No, the trigger don't move. Look on the bottom here. See that? You must yeah, you gotta plug up the fuel there. That's what it is. You plug up the fuel, that opens it. <laughs> that is Can pretty good. Can you imagine dope. me lighting up my finger? Uh-huh. Do you, do you want that? <laughs> no. no. So, I mean, I don't know. That might be worth something. No, we'll, here, hit, hit, yeah, we'll put that off to the side. That might be worth something. But I was sitting there wondering like, what it was, and it said flammable under pressure, so I don't know. What kind of, what kind of bag is that? Tower loading. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that is. It's not me. My head's in the way. No, you good. Dang. This smart watch thingy. Yeah. They kept their phones though, didn't they? I see it. There's another phone in there. Yeah, or no? Okay, that's a little MiFi. That actually might be worth something. I think I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, whatever we think is worth money, we'll just put off to the side. Amazon fifty dollar gift card. Dude, I wonder. Yeah, put that off to the side. We'll call wonder. it. Wonder. <laughs> we'll call that. <laughs> Let's see. Belkin? Nah, Belkin's kind of a lower end. Sony battery. Okay. I'm in heaven. I'm Got some in heaven. pennies and stuff down there. Oh, there's a Blackberry. <laughs> the bold Blackberry. Uh huh. Yeah, this stuff we'll have to go through a fine tooth comb. There's quarters and stuff down yeah. there. Charlie loves her coins. Charlie loves her coins. All right, the wifey went through that one. Now she got two more boxes set up, and then I'm gonna take over from here. But uh, I, I mean, overall, I mean, what do you think, Charlie? I mean, pretty. I mean, that ladder's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like we got some clothes here. We didn't really go through this one. Or actually, no, we didn't go through this There's one at all. Camel pack. See, and these camelbacks can actually do really well. So again, whenever I talk about the military stuff, I'm not downgrading it or anything. It's just I'm just not excited to see it, <laughs> even though we're gonna make some good money on it. A stuff? number cube. <laughs> There's stuff at the bottom. Yeah. Third. Hey, you wanna Go pull the you wanna pull the clothes out right here? Yeah, well, you can kind of get to the bottom of it. I mean, is there a lot of stuff at the bottom? I so. Ooh, what's that? A little steak. 
this is not a toy, no playing for children. Be careful, do not stab. It looks like a steak, I don't know. Got some dominoes. Dominoes. Callaway, Callaway golf balls. There you go. Oh, PC game. PC game. Croc Legend of Gabos. American history. American history. Okay. Oh, that's dope. Little, oh, is this a flashlight? Yeah. Yeah, a little light. This is like a battalion thing. Italian coin. Italian coins are kind of hit or miss. They're, they're usually kind of slow. There's more right there. There you go. So battalion coins are a little slow. Um, but we might just give that to them back in the personal, but I don't know. Uh, there you go. Technical manual. Bunch of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, not exactly what we're looking for, but I mean, still some pretty, pretty cool stuff though. All right. And the wifey has one more box to go through. Yeah. This is the ladder that I was talking to you guys about. Um, it is a... Warner 225 pounds 18 foot ladder I think that's what that means yeah 18 foot so pretty cool solid stuff it's like she had a single pillow in every single one yeah all right the wife is going through another blackberry this box. case another blackberry one they kept their they kept their phones man nope nothing in there uh, let's see Logitech remote. Oh, that's good. Yeah, these are the Harmony. Oh, yeah, this is a Logitech Harmony 650. If you guys see the the Harmony ones, they go they go for good money. There should be a docking station to where this phone, uh, this remote sits in. If you find that, it's really good. Panasonic phone, Sony, Sony Sirius Series. XM. So yeah, we'll just leave those in there for now. Um, but yeah, those are definitely good good finds. I think it's a wireless charger. <laughs> it's like an old school one where you put yeah. batteries on it. <laughs> it's Sirius XM stuff. Okay, Sirius XM stuff. Mario oh wait, Mar Kart. Mario Kart DS. Open it up. Let's see if it's in there. It's yeah. not! You know, this is the second unit in a row where we found a DS game and there's no games. Top Gear? Yeah. Okay. Top Gear 12. That's cool. Blu-ray. All right, we got Wipeout for the DS. Not in there, I'll put that off to the side. Just in case we find the games later on. Dell installation and yeah. Microsoft Works 9. That'll be something we'll look up later. Oh, a lot of change. Look at that, that was it. Look at that, a lot of change, you guys. Tons of quarters and stuff, making our money Half back. Dollars. A half dollar? Nice. Making our money back in one penny at a time. <laughs> uh, Got a mount for something. It's for a camera. Yeah. Camera. No, that's not a mount. That is a camera. That's, that's a camera? Yeah. Oh, okay. Looks weird. Or whatever. Okay, we got another. Oh, Zelda. Okay. Wait. It's brand new. That's brand new. It's brand new. No freaking way. It's sealed. You guys, this thing is sealed. Brand new seal. What? <laughs> like, what do you, the wife? Look at that. Brand new seal. It's a 3DS game, not a DS. So I mean, this might go I'm in the. I'm still happy about it. This might go in the personal collection. I don't yeah. know. The seal stuff is hard to come by. That's that's pretty dope. <laughs> um, Comcast, Comcast. now, nah, not, not the Comcast remote. Uh, 3D glasses. That is crazy. Is there any more DS games in there? Operation. Oh, there you go. A little. Well, that's a DS Lite yeah. or X. No, XL. Um, so you guys, we might. Yeah, bows. Yeah, we'll keep all that paperwork. I always like to keep the paperwork with stuff. Another bow. Charlie, if we find this stuff in here. Right. Like, I'm being serious. Like, we find bow. I mean, <laughs> I think that's personal. I think that's going to yeah. be his degree. Yeah. Uh, give us one sec, you guys. The camera's getting a little heated. Um, so we're going to put that on, uh, inside the truck for right now to let it cool down a little bit. And we're going to casually go through some stuff and then kind of get things set up to where you guys can see it. I know you guys want to see, you know, uh, every box and all that. And I want to do that. It's just electronics the heat sun's coming out behind me too so it doesn't make it any better but uh we'll put it down for a sec and then we'll come back to you guys in just a split sec uh, of some of the other stuff that we found all right guys check this out so we've been hard at work we got some stuff out here on the table we're going to show you guys in a sec so again we're 511 dollars deep in this and at this point in time we might rent it out for a month just as this because we're not in a rush to get this stuff done necessarily and the fact that 
Um, we got all this cleared out for you guys so we can go through the toolbox together. We have not looked in it at all. We don't even know if it's locked. We don't. We just don't know. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff that we found so far just around this area. And it's going to be one or two things, you guys. Whenever we look up certain things on eBay, like I'll show you guys one over here. <coughs> but this thing right here, we cannot find on WorthPoint. We cannot find it on eBay. We cannot find it on Google. We're going to have to do a little bit more digging. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, but look at this. Look how industrial this thing is. Universal fixture controller mod model 1. It also says SM-23 DC motor here. It says ZTEC RS-232 and also modeled UFC-1. So I don't, I don't know, you guys. I mean, this thing is pretty darn clean, almost like something that you would find in the military. I, again, I don't know what the value of this is, but if you guys follow me over here, you have this one that is by the same brand, by the same brand, same everything, and this one is on a smaller scale, and this is called the S9 Sondicator ZTEC. None sold, again, a lot of the stuff doesn't really have a lot of solds, but there's a lot of listed. Somebody has this thing listed for $1,000. So if they have this one listed for $1,000, not saying that's what this thing is worth, but it's just kind of like, what do we, what do we price that? Is it even, is it even worth anything? Like, like we, we honestly don't know. Um, the fact that somebody has this right here listed for 1000 makes me feel like this thing right here could be, let's just assume six of those, so let's say, six thousand dollars i mean i don't know so if you guys could please comment down below for me to potentially help me out or if anybody's out there that's interested in this i mean i, I honestly have no idea this is out of my jurisdiction i obviously i'm, I'm going to do some more research whenever we get home but this is this is pretty wild stuff you guys and it's only going to get even crazier well it's probably one of the craziest finds if it goes for what i think it's going to go for but we don't know at the end of the day we also found a duracell power pack 600 um, don't know if it works, of course, we just got to figure that out, but it's definitely dry rotting like the plugs, but the plugs don't really matter in my opinion. Um, so again, not really too sure what that's going to go for. We have not gone through any of the stuff in the back, but let's go out here and start talking about some of this stuff. Um, so we're going to be wrapping it up here in just a few because we want to get a load home and start doing some research and stuff. So again, this right here listed for a thousand. I don't know. This thing right here, this uh, Panametrics, we found a lot of these Panametrics stuff. This is an Epoch 2. Um, I think somebody has some of them listed for like 500 uh, so again, don't know, you know, don't know. Uh, and as you guys know, we found a bunch of these, um, different models and stuff like that. But this one right here, uh, there's like 13 listed and like 47 sold. And uh, they're going for about 40 bucks just for, just for that right there. Another Panametric thing right here. This is model 26DL Plus. Now, none of just this has sold, but the whole little small setup that they had sold for $450. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep all the pan and, pan and metric stuff together and kind of go from there, hopefully. Maybe worth something. We did pull this lens off from the top of there. Um, no lens inside it, unfortunately. So maybe it's in here, but this could be anywhere between $150 to $250 lens, depending on exactly what it is. So again, we're, we're just kind of all over the place. We didn't look any of this stuff up, or at least this. Um, this is a Merlisto. Merlisto. Merbisto. I don't know. It says from SciTech. It is an Explorer Pro chess computer. A lot of these electronic chess things can actually do pretty well. Um, General is not a great brand, but it is a boroscope, and I think it's General branded, yeah. So this is a General DS or DCS 300, so it's a boroscope, um, which is boroscopes are usually expensive and uh matter of fact we actually sold one from the bin store for three hundred dollars or something like that um i got a little ion video two-piece don't know, you know exactly what it goes for this was kind of interesting it says jawbone noise assassin it said military grade yeah military grade noise cancellation so and that's brand new in the box so not too sure about that and this right here is one of the ones things that we looked up so this thing right here is a Rust-Oleum garage floor coating kit. So it basically makes your garage better. I guess it has like little speckles and then whatever it is, you know. <laughs> so we scanned this and they're over 100% of the rate going in between 150 to 200. Pretty wild stuff. So there's that. Uh, and then we found a nice little 
Osprey rolling bag, like a traveling bag. He traveled with it whenever he was in the military. Fortunately, the little zipper tabs are broke, but the zipper works perfectly fine. Uh, but yeah, this is the Osprey. Osprey's a great brand. Uh, then we got like a little putting, little putting system. I think it is new, just crushed severely. And then this thing right here is an Olympus Industrial something. Let me show you. Yeah, this right here. So this is the Olympus IOH-1, but this is like a full set. I looked just this thing up right here, and I, I, I can't remember exactly it's on top of my head, but I want to say somebody was selling this for like 500 bucks. So I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. This, this, this stuff is like out of my realm. So if any of you guys can uh, comment down below of somebody who might be interested in this stuff or something, please let me know. Um, with that being said, my camera's getting a little overheated. Uh, we're going to switch over to the GoPro now, and uh, we're going to go through the uh, toolbox. So uh, yeah, so here's the Craftsman toolbox. Again, we have not gone through it. We're gonna start from the top, or matter of fact, no, let's start from the bottom to the top, and then bottom so to the top. Started yeah. from the bottom now we're here. Yeah, exactly. So start from the bottom now we're here. Shout out to Drake. Um, <laughs> I thought you hated Drake. <laughs> I did. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah. This, so this is basically like a two-tier toolbox. It's actually very nice, very heavy-duty, heavy-duty caster. So. I don't really know what this toolbox is going to go for. We're probably going to ask maybe 500 bucks without the tools and then somebody send me a best offer or something, you know, locally. So we'll figure that out. Um, so uh, do you think there's anything going to be in there? I mean, yeah. at this point, seeing what we found, I think there's going to be stuff in there. Because it's like seeing through the cracks right now. I see Oh, stuff. so you're cheating. Yes, I'm okay. cheating. Okay. All right, let's go to the bottom. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> All righty. Okay, nothing. Oh, actually. These almost look like motorcycle handlebars, but they're not. What is this? I mean, it's DeWalt. So DeWalt's a good brand. Uh, forged 402 Wilton. Okay. So it is, it is a little dark in here, but that's okay. What is this? Orbiter? Miles Craft, I don't know. Okay. Cool on that. Okay. Now we got some heavy duty stuff. Look at this. Cobalt 350 model number on this. SGY-Air 134. This heavy duty impacts could do pretty well. Look at that. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Like it's gonna work. Uh, Edge series IR. Oh, Ingersoll. Okay, that's actually a decent brand. Never heard of Sonics tools. It looks nice though. Sonics tools. Zip strip something. Sonics tools again. It's okay. So I never heard of, of Sonics. I think Ingersoll is actually decent. Oh wow, <laughs> look how big those hammers are. I don't know. Oh There's my drill God. bits too. These are actually like uh, drill bits. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, some drill bits in there. And then look at this though. S-Wing Hammer Tooth 24 ounce E6-24 TM Hammer. Those, I mean, that's huge. There's another one Genuine there. Genuine hickory. Yeah, okay. A little bit of little bit stuff. Nothing too exciting so far. Ooh. Oh, hi. Oh. There's some new stuff on her. Yeah. Oh, these are Thorson. I think Thorson's good, I believe. Look how big this thing is. Right. Oh, that's a Craftsman. Craftsman. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it doesn't say. It's just the bottom. No, but the model number on this is 44662. So that thing is massive. Who am I? Dominic it's Toretto. Family. Dominic Toretto. All about family. But you're not bald. <laughs> 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 We've been watching the Fast and the Furious series. Look at all these. These are all brand new. It's like They're all magnetic. It's, yeah, and, and to be honest with you, I think it's a set. So so? It's a full metric set. Yeah, look. See? Oh, darn. See all the different sizes? Yeah. So, Thor, I mean, again, I don't know. Wait. Unless I mean, Because this one says... I think they're all individuals. 22401. 22, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think Thorson's decent, I think. No, they're all the same. Oh, uh, they are? Yeah. Okay. So, again, multi-quantity listing. Yeah. I mean, I just can find some freaking, like, snap-on or blue, blue point or something. That's a leveler. Stanley leveler, okay. Another leveler. A carpen, carpenter thingy. Triangle, I don't know what it's called, to be honest. Uh, Midwest, Irwin, leveler, okay. Nothing... Okay, let's see. Ow. Come I on. found Snap-on! No, you didn't. Did too. You're full of crap. <laughs> that is Snap-on. Oh. Holy crap. Wait, is it broke though? Oh no. Something gets... Wait. Did something get screwed into it? I think so. I don't know. Snap-on L 
712T. And it's, I mean, it's in good working condition. What about Johnson? I don't know what this would even be worth. <laughs> well, what? It works. Johnson leveler? Yeah. Or is that a leveler? Oh, yeah, I guess so. It has lasers. Nice. So, I mean, that's pretty darn cool. I don't know what this would be worth. Maybe, I don't know. Snap on stuff can go, for, I mean, what do you think, 100 bucks? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we'll keep that in here for now. And then look at this. Oh, you see Full these? set. Full set of Craftsman. I think these are newer, though. Oh, no, they're made in this day. Okay. You just going to screw it all up, ain't you? Uh, something like that. I thought, I thought they were actually in there. But... Turn it on. No. So, two sets of those. Wait, was that everything? Huh? Mm, bunch of extensions. Proto extensions. Just snap on. Nope. Another no, Sunnite tools. I don't know. Maybe that's something good. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, that's what I call a wrench. That is a wrench. These are wrenches. Thorson again. I don't know. I just don't know if they, I don't know if Thorson's a good brand or not. I don't know. Smart grip. You know, I know these are supposed to make it easier getting in like weird places, but it's like I never liked these. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah, a lot of rats. My favorite, a speed, speed handle. handle. Speed handle. We had oh, to use that was it. my favorite freaking tool. Yep, yeah, we had to use those in the military. Okay, got your little accessory mm -hmm. pile. Yeah. It's a good one. No, I don't see it. Okay. Next next drawer. Be nice to find more snap on. Uh -huh, <laughs> I, mean, right? so, I mean one I mean one thing ain't bad. Oh, and this shit. dude and this person does have some good taste and stuff. It's like mm. a caliper mm. tool is supposed to go in there. Border mm. cable, look at this. Nice Ooh. little haul or saw hole set. With torque wrenches. Not torque wrenches, but um actually axle or a specific name for them. Okay, a little kit. What is this thing? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's little, these little caliper, I don't sleep on them. Number 1433 Ultratech. I'm telling you, don't sleep on them. Big old autocraft, Auto two and a quarter yeah. inch. Okay. Um, a big Johnson measuring tape. What does this thing say? So this is a Johnson level tape, but it says Johnson 1811-0200. I just tried to give you guys like a general idea of uh, what's in here. I'm trying to throw some soul comps while we do this. Tweezers. Tweezers, big tweezers. Okay. Anything underneath all of these? No. Okay. Wait, what's that black pouch? I don't see that one. Yeah, I don't see that either. Is that the Dremel? Oh. No. Screwdriver. Yeah. Okay, cool. On to the next drawer. Okay, screwdrivers for days. <laughs> oh, and the pry bars. Uh, uh, yeah, we can probably actually keep the pry bar because we need those. For what? When we find safes. <laughs> ah, yeah. that's smart. Where? -a? I don't know. A bunch of Torsten, Cobalt. You said Torsten? Oh, yeah. Torsten. I don't know. Um, okay. Next one. So, the good news is the toolbox is unlocked. So, it'd be nice if we can find a key. Key might be somewhere in this. Technical yeah. difficulties here. That's okay. Okay, what does this thing say? Martin, USA 1262. Anytime I see like weird stuff like this, it just makes me wanna go crazy. That's Ender kind. tools, oh, got some razor blades. No, it's not. Um, okay, I don't see anything. Again, I'm, I'm not a, necessarily a tool person. I know certain things to look for, but. Okay, we're just gonna. Alrighty, some wrenches. What is this? Nipex Germany, K N I P E X eleven dash one sixty Germany. So I don't know. Mm. Might be worth ten bucks. Might be worth thirty. Oh, I don't we're know. We're looking for a plug. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? Okay. Next. Next one. I think that one's locked. Open up the top. Now open it. Oh. It, it, it's, it's good to know your, your toolbox stuff sometimes. Got an Irwin vice grip. Look at this thing. 
12 inch crescent usa the original since 1907 but i don't see a brand i guess that's the brand the original since 1907 i don't know nozzle oh look at this bad boy right here okay um again i i i honestly don't know but still cool um oh we got some stuff up here on top so this thing right here is here let me do this right here we'll bring it out this right here says task force don't worry about that camera that's ours the one that got overheated little ratchet set there i don't think task force is a is a great brand oh, why is this thing so heavy oh my goodness i'm gonna bring this one right here oh this thing says cobalt but this thing is heavy duty all right here goes right here you guys had to get the wife to help me open it up because i didn't realize there was things on the side uh yeah this thing looks complete um you know, you know, once we mess with some stuff here, um, but yeah, and it's cool because these actually, these right here fit inside these. They you basically just a, a ratchet set. But well, these things are heavy duty though, so I don't know what these would be. I mean, hundred bucks all the way to twenty bucks. I mean, I don't know. This thing's heavy duty though, and it is cobalt. So cobalt's kind of a hit or miss brand. Some things can go for really good money, and some things can't. So I don't know. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, and then this right here is the stuff that was under it. Uh, got some nice levels. Accumark. I don't know. I don't know if that's any good. Accumark. ACCU Mark. Uh, long ruler. I don't see any keys or anything. So okay. Oh, look at that. It is unlocked. Very nice. Utilitech. Nice. We just saw two of these. It's similar well, it's similar Yeah, ones. similar. You, you, Utilitech is, is a hit or miss. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's see why not. Okay. All right. But yeah, that's cool. Right. Brand new. I mean, I can find some fluke meters or something. I mean. What are those? Uh, So this right here is where they pull your teeth. <laughs> You're and, funny. Uh, so you might have been a dentist. You're funny. <laughs> There you go. See, that's the file them down for whenever you're getting crowns Okay, and you're stuff. making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Bosch. Bosch. Bosch is a good brand. A uh, little drill bit sets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Same thing. I'm tired of you seeing the same thing over and over. I know, right? <laughs> Alright, what we got here? Black and Decker. Okay, bullseye leveler. Okay. Oh, that is... Okay, this is a bunch of miscellaneous hodgepodge stuff. Oh, wait. Oh no, that's the, that's, that's the Kawasaki key. It's to a motorcycle or something. What's in the box? All right, what's in the box? It includes includes improved, improved drive pin. Drive pin? Yeah, I don't know what that is, you guys. Uh, what's the? A jumbo chain tool. Yeah, that's what it says right here. Jumbo chain tool, part number five seven eight one three five. So I don't know. Again, if we can find it, we can find it. If not. Alright, so on to the next one, a magnifying glass. General, yeah. General's not a not a great brand. Some hanger stuff. Got some scissors. Oh, mini, mini uh license plate. <clears throat> That's cool. Oh, Virginia. That's where we were stationed at. Brand new cargo boss. Mount these. What's in those boxes? What was in this bag? Oh, all of them? I just showed it. So they're all of these. Okay. So I don't know if those are worth anything. Ooh, that's a lot. Hmm. Yeah. It's a cool little master lot though. What is, what is that? That's them. No, wait. This one might be it right here. This one. It's a master lot. Huh. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's the extra key to that one. Yeah, we're trying to find the keys to the toolbox, you guys. There's three keys here. I'm assuming the key that's going to go to this is going to say Craftsman at least, you know? Yeah, what is this? Is it? It could be. Sorry. Oh, oh. Is that it? No. I don't know. I don't think so. No. Because it sounds like it's wanting to. I don't think but it is though. No. Well, we'll keep them in there just in case, you know. 
maybe because you have this drawer open maybe that's why it's not moving that which would make sense because our toolboxes did that in the military remember is that it that's it wait do it yep that's okay, yep so that's put, the key put it down. so these are actually the keys still we'll figure it out later um we'll put this top drawer right here in the corner that way but so we got the keys for it which is which means to me in my opinion the value goes up so yep. very awesome very cool so you always got to check oh we got some magazines look at that okay very cool i know somebody who would want these restricted military government law enforcement export use only oh okay very cool arp i think that's actually a decent brand it's like one of them is missing out of the package but that's okay okay ryobi Oh, those are nice. nice. It's like a, a a router bit set type thing. Mm. That's actually very nice. Wow, it's almost like he never used it. Right. <laughs> I don't know. That could be twenty bucks. Could be ten bucks. I don't know. It's always nice to find like nice tools, you know. I just wish there'd be more snap on. Like, why would you have the one snap on thing? But then again, we still have all this to go through. You guys haven't even gone through any of it. Midwest snips. That actually looks kind of expensive, but I don't There's know. Two of them. Brand new. Yeah. Okay, two of them brand new. Huh? Alright, got a tight little fit here. And I don't think there's anything gonna be anything in there. It's just a bunch of screws and stuff. Alright, looks like we found this little screw pile. <laughs> you see what I did there? Okay. Alright, at least somebody got it. <laughs> Alright, nothing in there. Ooh, Dominator. Is that what it says? Dominator? Yep. What does it say though? Dominator what? Dom Pick one up and bring it to the camera. It says Dominator, oh, The Dominator, Mayhew, 100 pound. Is there a model number on the back? What? No? Okay. Okay, either way. Hey, look, for, look, Fertility. Something in there. What? I don't know, it said Fertility on the little thing. Yeah. yeah. Murphy. What's in the yellow thing? Ooh, okay, a punch set. What's the brand on that? Indress. Indress. These actually might be. Ex I mean, I don't know. Look at that. It looks expensive. Indress USA A7. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Again, comment down below right now, you guys, if you guys can tell me what do you think the between the toolbox and all the tools that you guys have seen so far, or you guys can wait till we get to the last one and just tell us what you think all these tools are worth. Because I mean, I don't know. Actron's actually a great brand. That's a remote start switch. CP7853. Spark plugs. Spark plugs, yeah. Okay. Oh, ammunition. Hmm. Grab it. Oh, Open it up. There? Open it up. Okay, so we found some ammo. What are these for? Nine mil. Yep. Yep. So nine mil. Okay, we'll put that up here. Nine mil ammo. Now just where's the guns at? Right. Done, done a couple of uh what is that thing? What is that great thing? What is that? A bridge G cam gauge. Bridge cam gauge G A L gauge company made in USA. I don't know, throw that in that little toolbox there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It was shiny so I had to I had to see what it was. Streamlight. Streamlight's a great brand because that's meant for guns, I believe. Like uh, tactical lights and stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we found some of this type of stuff in units. Uh, let's say just paperwork. Okay. Yeah, are we down to the last drawer? No. Down to the last drawer, you guys. <sighs> and you look like that was heavy. It was. <laughs> and it looks like about 100 pounds of ratchet straps. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're not digging to the bottom of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be the whole toolbox right there. Um... And as you guys can tell, that we've been working hard uh, in this unit, and uh, we're gonna end this episode right here, to, you know, for the for the craftsman. But we, we'll, but we still have a lot to go through. We still have. There's a box underneath this. We already went through this. Is all Christmas stuff. There's a box underneath there. All of these we have not gone through. This whole rack we have not gone through. Um, this right here is an easy bed. We have not gone through this. None of that stuff in the back. And then there's this big cabinet right here. We don't know if there's gonna be guns in it. We we don't. We honestly don't know. All right, well, with that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. Much love. We'll see you guys next video with this unit. So, peace. I don't wanna wake up.